Hello everyone and welcome back to another custom die cast review. There's one thing I do not like about this specific die cast that I've made and simply that's just the name banner. Now the name banner is not glossy by any means. I should have used the decal so it kind of matched right a little bit more but we will get to that here in just a few minutes. Now this is the checkers or wreckers for 2020 with Noah Gragson. I believe this is the Charlotte Robo race this is based off of. Uh, it was pretty hard to do the damage, honestly. Like, the hood was kind of, like, crinkled up. Uh, they had this, like, back corner that was all, like, bashed in. It's really hard to do that on a 124 or a 164. I'm not going to lie. 124 is a little easier, but a 164, pretty near impossible, honestly. But I've been planning to do this die cast for a while. I just, I never really got to it. I was kind of afraid, like, oh, what if it don't turn out well? And then I looked at the reference pictures from Lionel. I looked at the die cast from Lionel, and I'm like, hey, it can't be that bad. So I went ahead, I took a shot, and short off, boom, here we go, right in front of your face. Now, there is one thing that is uh, technically incorrect, and that's just the winter stickers. There's only one winter sticker up here I didn't put two. I didn't really care to. But one thing I did do, and, and Lionel did not do, was I put the white letter tires. Now, of course, it's not rain tires or anything. It's just your normal tires. But I put the white letters on. Now, because like with the race tires, it had the white letters with the slicks, it had the the yellow ones. Lionel did not put on the white ones for whatever reason for the die cast, but it did finish with the white tires. But anyway, this die cast was really fun to do, and there is one thing I'm actually pretty proud of, and I'll uh, I'll tell you how I got it. That is the windshield wiper. Now I'm actually pretty darn proud. I'm not gonna lie. Now it's not the best high quality windshield wiper but it's still there for the detail and that i'm really proud of so uh we'll kind of get to that in just a few seconds so with that being said let's go ahead and start off with the hood right here so we got the line out racing i tried to recreate the damage as much as i could pretty impossible so i just i tried my best doesn't look the best at all but i mean hey you know i tried i gave it on a shot it is what it is so i got the gragson banner right there i did not remake this i probably should have uh but like where that white is just very thin lines it's kind of hard to do uh, so it kind of blended in with the banner. But here's how I got the windshield wiper. Now, listen to this genius, right? Because I've done this a few times. If I need a very specific detail, like, for example, the windshield wiper, I will look at a die cast review of the die cast in 124 scale, right? If they show the windshield, I will screenshot that, cut it out, and then scale it to size, and then put it on the die cast. Boom. Easy. Easy. Very cheap. You just had to uh, kind of cut out the background and stuff. But honestly, I was pretty darn uh, surprised it worked, first of all. And I was pretty proud of myself, honestly. Uh, so I'm just going to kind of brag on that right there. Got a little bit of detail on the dashboard. You can see the red and blue. You can kind of see the steering wheel in there as well. Got some detail there. So you got on the number nine, you got some rubber buildup and the two Lionel Racing logos behind that. We got Gragson right there. Now, I will admit that is a terrible name banner because that is an old one. I did not update it. I didn't care to update it. I just printed it out, and that's how it looks. So, it's either you get what you get, and then that's it, basically. So, got Lionel Racing right there. Got the red. Spoiler, didn't do too good of a job with the painting, but, I mean, hey, it's still red. It's still detailed the way it's supposed to be. Driven by diecast right here on the back. Got the tail lights. Uh, REC, LSC Mechanics Square, Mac Tools, if I can focus, maybe. Got the number nine, let's focus in, or zoom in a little bit. Got the Camaro, the bow tie, all that good stuff. So on this side, we got the Authentics, of course, got uh, Action Racing, Lionel, RCCA Elite, all that garbage, right? Got the NASCAR Authentics, got the American flag, and saw the one winner sticker, uh, Noah Gragson right there. I'm not even going to try to read the B-Post. The B-Post is uh, pretty, pretty thin. I do see SEM and Freightliner right there, but other than that, I don't really see much. Let's see, you got Brant right there. You got some uh, very faded donut marks right there. Yeah, just because of the rain and stuff. Got Xfinity Series Mobile 1 ARP and Asco Race Car. We actually got chipped up like fender wells right here. That is on both sides uh, because it was actually, you know, chewed up like that. I went and saw the reference pictures and I just kind of cut it out with the Dremel. And then boom, there we go. Now it does look a little weird, I'm not going to lie. But I mean, that's just how it was damaged. So that's how I recreated it as. As you can see, I also have the uh, white walls, or the white letter walls right there. Of course, that is all raced up and used on all four sides. So moving on to the front right here, I tried to create a little bit of splitter damage and all that stuff. Because he wrecked this car, like, what, three or four times? 
He spun out so many times, he hit the wall a few times, hit other people a few times. Uh, so yeah, this die cast, or the actual the card in general, was just very damaged and very hard to repeat on the 164 scale die cast. So I did what I could. It is what it is. I got it done, and I'm not too I'm not too ashamed of it. So there's that. Of course, you got all the rubber wear, and of course, you got the damage on the splitter and stuff. So over here on this side, you got, of course, more of that little uh, cutout piece for the fenders. Got the more race used tire, the same contingencies, all that good stuff there. Got a little bit of a window net right here. And then you can see on the interior, we got the uh, roll cage, which is silver. The gear shifter down there is silver. The steering wheel is silver. And, of course, you got the dashboard detail right there. Got the NASCAR Authentics. Got some more used-up race tires. Now, I actually had to paint the rims black because this was a uh, white rim die cast. I had to change it to black because I didn't have any black ones. Uh, so, yeah, had to do a little more detail on that. Of course, I got a little bit of the back damage right here. That's not any fuel spillage. It was dented in in the actual race car. So, I tried to recreate that. Didn't go very good, but I mean, again, with a 164 scale, it is very hard to recreate any types of dents or any type of bends or folds in the metal, stuff like that. However, I did do what I could. So, there's the 360. Of course, you guys know what time it is. Time for the underneath of the die cast. Of course, you got all the detail and all that good stuff. Now, with it being a little uh, different just because of the mold of it being an x Mini series it's not really that much different i think that little circle right there in the center is the only thing that was different from a cut body if i'm being honest that's the only thing i really remember but we got the exhaust the transmission uh let's see transmission exhaust uh axles we got the gas can or not the gas can but the little uh, fuel cell painted down there uh, we got whatever the thing is up here towards the front you know i'll say that every time got silver black and red as the detail now, one more thing I will say, I do want to put this up for sale on the bottom mag diecast eBay page, link in the description if you want to go check that out. I do have some diecast or custom diecast on there right now if you want to go take a little look-see, but I don't know if I want to put this on there because, like, honestly, I feel like I did a pretty decent job with this diecast, but at the same time, I don't really want to keep it, if that makes any sense. In all honesty, I will probably put it up for sale, even though I really don't want to. I mean, I guess I could always get another one and then make another one if I really wanted to keep it for myself. But either way, I do feel like this diecast turned out really darn good. Now, I am proud of the detail. Of course, the windshield wiper. And I had the correct banner. And I had the correct wheels. Of course, I now cannot do the correct wheels for whatever reason. I really wish they would have. But if I'm being honest, I do think this would look very good uh, side by side with a 124. It's not going to be my 124 because I don't have the 124. I don't necessarily want to uh, the, want the 124. But either way, I think what did Gregson finish second in this race? I don't remember, but I, he still had a pretty darn good race, even though he crashed multiple times. And you know, it's a road course; people couldn't see all kinds of stuff like that. But if I do recall correctly, he ended up finish, uh, finishing second. Now, there's only two more diecast, as far as I know of, that are being made. That is the 2014, I believe, the Bristol race uh, with Dale Earnhardt Jr. where that whole side was wiped off completely by Denny Hamlin spinning. And then, of course, took out his whole, just the, the entirety of his side door. They're going to make that in a 124 scale. I don't know if they're going to make it in the 164 scale, but if they don't, leave it to me. I got it taken care of. And then we're going to have the Chase Elliott 2017 Martinsville race version. Of course, Hamlin pushed uh, Elliott out of the way, ruined his win. Uh, for the Martinsville race back in 2017. Of course, that was the playoffs race. I'm pretty sure it was the playoffs race. Uh, yeah, it was because Kyle Busch won that race. Uh, but either way, those two are the ones going to be coming out. I honestly don't know when, but I do know they're going to be coming out you know, sometime in the future. Uh, so we'll have to see if they're going to make them in the 164 scale. If they don't, you boys got it. But if they do, I'm going to buy them. So anyway, with that being said, I do believe they'll be all for this custom die cash review. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you in the next video.